The Zenite Shard, component of the best jewelry in the game, and almost a must-have to kill Zolra, the boss that I went 400 dry on the other episode. Today we take a Slayer journey, stacking up a hundred hard clues for the next episode, and opening any other clue we get in our way, because our endgame goal is completing every single clue scroll collection log item and getting the Bloodhound Pit. Welcome to the Clue Scroll Completionist. Welcome to episode 2 of the Clue Scroll Completionist. First of all, thank you guys so much for the insane support on episode 1. It's the fastest and only the third video on this channel that has reached 100,000 views. So I hope you guys are as excited for this one. I started off the day by tanning all the leather I still had in my bank. I still have a ton of resources from the old series that I still gotta use now that I finally can. And we ended up getting 88 crafting. Now in the last video, I still had a Master Clue in the bank, but I lost my Dark Mystic Robe bottom. So it was about time to get that back. Okay, that's the Mystic Row Bottom Dark that I lost in the wilderness. I mean, that um, I was hacked for. Took us about 182 Deviant Spectres, and after that I realized, why am I a Deviant Spectres? Let me go to Aberrant Spectres, and I got it in 9kc, so let's do that Monster Clue. Alright, let's be sure that this never happens again, and build our very first Monster Clue stash unit. There we go. The Mystic Bottoms nicely tucked in there. No more hackers on my account are gonna get that thing. Just saying, if the joke wasn't clear, I did lose them in the wilderness. There's the Monster Clue casket, or the Master Clue casket, for all the Americans watching. We're inclusive here on the Only Trails channel. Let's see what we get. Um, yeah, I guess the Limpert Roots are decent for strength potions. Talking about me losing things in the wilderness, uh, take a look at this clip. Oh, no, not like this! My money! My money! I'm scared of a... Uh, oh, God. Oh, no, this is not good. Guys, no, my 15 mil, no! Oh, no, my money. Oops. I'm literally the reason why PKers still kill clue scrollers. I am contributing to the problem. So I had to scrape the bank and sell some stuff. Luckily, I'm building up a loot tab from 91 to 99 Slayer, so I could pick a couple things from there. Oh yeah, and if you guys didn't know, this rogue general store buys things for high elk price. So I'll just be selling five of every item in my inventory and hopping worlds. So eventually we'll end up with a nice cash stack. Ring, ring, huh? Ring, ring, business deal. Ring, 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 business deal. What is it, business trails? I've done it again. Sorry? So I know you like old school clicking games. Wow. Great find. What gave it away? So I got a sponsorship for you. Wait, you got a sponsored by Old School RuneScape? No, even better. Is it Clash of Clans? All right, that's not fair. You're just reading off my script. Give me that back. Clash of Clans has been around for longer than Old School RuneScape, so you must have heard of them. It's a game where players build their own village, level up buildings, and fight other clans. When attacking other players' villages, you gain resources and rewards to eventually become the biggest one of them all. Watch as your town expands into the emporium you always wanted to control, and grind the Clash of Clan leaderboards that reset every month. Because I know how much you like high scores and seeing number go up. It's kind of scary how well you know me. Well, I am you. Well. Before these guys get an internal crisis, I'll tell you that the game is free to download on any mobile store and you can also play it on PC. To get started, you can either click the first link in the description or scan this nifty only Trails QR code. Thank you to Clash of Clans for sponsoring this video. And after about a 40 minute selling session, we end up with 15 point... 4 mil. Hey, 85 farming, which means we can now enter the farming guild without having a boost, or at least the upper level of the farming guild. That crept up on me, kind of, but I'm still doing my tree runs once a day, maybe once every three days. Maybe I'm lying to you guys a little bit. <laughs> I'm not that consistent with them, but as you guys know, I've got an unlimited amount of U seeds from the Crystal Limplings, so I'm pretty sure I have 99 farming banged, so I might as well go for it passively. Any luck for the bottomless compost bucket? Not right now. Pineapple seeds. Let's get our daily corrupted gauntlet kills in. I'm doing a daily two corrupted gauntlet kills to make the Bofa grind a little bit of a passive. I know I'm never going to get it that way, but it's a start. All right, first one of the day. Let's see. Ooh, an elite clue. Love to see that. All right. Oh, 
That's the correct collection log, right? I'm just doing a couple more diaries. Uh, going to be completing the Kandarin Hard Diary and the Artie Hard Diary, and I just got a collection log slot for the Granite Buddy. That's right. In the same vein of completing a couple diaries, it is very nice that I've just completed the Kandarin Hard Diary because I really hated getting teleported here instead of the actual place I want to teleport to, which is this beautiful bank telly. So now we've got a good bank telly teleport. I'm very happy that this diary is finally completed. All right. Completed medium and hard arty diary. So now we finally have a good cape because that arty cloak one was poking my eyes out to quench everyone's clue thirst real quick. I'm going to be opening these two easy and three medium. I uh, know not too insane, but if we get a monster, we get a monster and we can go and do it. The easy clues are not bad. I use those pest control teleports quite a bit. The mediums gives me another gothics page and yeah nothing too special i i'm sure that didn't quench your clue thirst but in a bit we're gonna do 10 elites so hopefully that's good enough i just opened the most random medium clue and got a monster clue so and there is the monster casket i know my i'm very aware my inventory looks like an ultimate iron man and that is disgusting but i can't help it okay I've tried to do way too many things at the same time. Being on Ancients isn't great for monster clues. Let's open this casket. Oh no, I just got that one lost episode. 79 monster clue caskets. 21 more until the uh, scroll sack, I think, is the milestone reward. You can barely see it, but we just got a whip drop. Always nice to see those. I'm also juggling the hard clue that we got here so I don't have to leave. And I'm also not missing any other hard clue chances. And we have a superior. Hey, another whip. Another random medium clue. I'm planning on stacking up a bunch of medium clues somewhat soon to complete the whole collection log. But while we're doing Slayer and the goal is not necessarily completing that log, I'd like to randomly open a couple. And here we go. That is pretty bad. Another casket in this idyllic location has to be fresh. Let's go! Ah, there it is, the Black Demon Tosk. I definitely didn't wait for for like two straight weeks. We can finally go for a Zenite. And when we get our first Zenite, hopefully in this Tosk, I'm going back to Zobra with a Suffering. Should be dope. Let's hope we get a little bit spoon fit there because we're not spoon fit anywhere else at the moment. So it'd be great. And there goes the first Demonic for Runite Bolts. Actually a good drop as the first one. Oh my god, that collection log scared the living crap out of me. A light frame. I don't know what the drop rate is on that, but... <laughs> I'm happy with the collection log spot regardless. Pretty cool to see something on the first task. I'm not gonna complain about that. 93 range. I su I'm surprised how much range XP I get here. That was like 50k left when I was halfway the task. That's nice. And there's the first demonic task done, unfortunately, with zero luck. Now, I'm still not on the drop rate, but after the whole Zulra debacle, I would have loved to spoon something, but <laughs> we keep searching. I just got a heart clue here, and this is not the most ideal spot to be juggling heart clues. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to keep this heart clue in the inventory and just do it after the task. Ask. I know very unethical clue man right now, but this is a very rough spot. There's another DK task completed. We get 5k extra Slayer XP from completing a boss task. I actually completely forgot that was a thing. We're still on the hunt for Zenite shards and a black demon task, obviously. So doing my favorite boss task in the middle of that is always nice. Now I'm planning on actually doing some Turrell skipping because you can get a monkey task from Turrell, which counts for demonic gorillas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do nine tasks at Turrell and then my 10th at Duradel. Might not be the best for for points, but the best potential for demonic tasks. We ended up getting a gargoyle task, and since in episode 4 I'm planning on doing the hard and maybe elite combat achievements, I scrolled through them and saw that they're pretty easy. However, as you guys know, I don't have a blowpipe. All right, on the way to Grotesque Guardians, in total I've killed seven back in my day. I don't really know why, but there's many things I did back in the old days of this account that I genuinely don't remember why I unlocked them or did only like a couple. I was probably very lazy. However, on our way to complete the hard combat achievements on this account, we still need all the Gargoyle or uh, Grotesque Guardian tasks. So I'm looking forward to hopefully getting some new collection log slots and also completing a couple combat achievements. I tanked an Ice Ball and I tanked something else from the rangers so we're gonna get a bunch of combat achievements but not the ones from um i think it's dusk the one that's flying i just missed two so we could also we could already finish all the hard combat tasks if i don't get hit by any lightning or any ice anymore now <laughs> look at these go dude i even got an elite one <sighs> That is such bullshit what just happened. I went to the freaking boss to hit it with my rock hammer to kill it, and then I got frozen. All right, so that should be one more. Oh, it's actually two. I got an elite. Perfect Grotesque Guardians, huh? But I got hit by 
one of the things. And now I'm confused. What? That doesn't make sense. That's not perfect. Okay, yeah, the previous one did count. So it was already dead before I got hit with the uh, ice ball, I guess. All right, fair enough. And there's the combat achievement, the master combat task of doing five consecutive perfect grotesque guardians. I'm gonna finish this trip, but there is the last hard combat task for Grotesque Guardians. I just got another combat task, and I have no idea what that one was. Kill the Grotesque Guardians 10 times without leaving the instance. Okay, fair enough. I guess that's the last one we're getting. And there's 30 Grotesque Guardians, KC. That's the thing with RuneScape. Sometimes you can just get distracted, and it's nice to be knocking out these combat achievements because we are going for the hard combat tasks probably next episode. We've got Zenites to get. Let's go. Every time someone in the CC gets a Bryophytus Essence, <laughs> I get trash talked. It never stops. When is the meme ever over? Oh yeah, I've also got three medium clues on the floor. As if that 50 medium clue juggling video wasn't enough. Check it out if you haven't seen that one yet. It's kind of insane. So I'll see you when I got the three medium caskets. I took the liberty of getting another medium clue because now when we open these, we'll be at exactly 1.2k medium clues opened. I know I check this collection log a lot, but we only need four more items. So if we could get those four items in these four clues, I'm happy. The white boater would be the goal because that is technically the easiest one to get out of the things we need. But let's see if we can get lucky. A Master Scroll Book, that's some Sherlock teleports or Watson teleports. But uh, we're seeing two uniques. Oh my God, holy sandals and a brown headband. That's going to get shouted out in the CC and people are going to be pissed that I'm opening caskets off stream. Watch this. No, they're just really happy. Very wholesome chat. Ah, there we go. Of course, we did get the message. <laughs> Trails, are you opening clues off stream? Didn't know you turned into an off stream Andy overnight. Well, there you go. If you guys want to check out the stream, I'm basically live every day at 12 p.m. CET. Come on over. The link is in the description. I might actually, you know what I'll say? I'll probably hit 93 uh, Slayer before having my first Zenite, which is not bad because that means I will also have an occult before going back to Zolra. Hopefully. We'll be hunting for a Black Demon Tusk and a Smoke Devil Tusk at that point, which could be really nice. Wait, is that a Dust Battle Staff? Hello? Okay, I just saw that on the pile. I uh, apparently already had that one. I think I've also gotten a Mist Battle Staff. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that's a one in like 4k. First time getting it from Dust Devils though. I don't have the Mist Battle Staff actually. I need the Mist Battle Staff and the Imbued Heart to complete all these superior uniques. So that's some uh, cool things to look forward to. Whip number, I want to say three or four of the video. Very, very nice. Every time you see that on the floor. And this task is also going to be the one where we get 93 slaves. Slayer. So Smoke Devil's unlocked, see you in a bit. I gently thought the next update would be 93 Slayer, but apparently it's 20 mil magic XP. All right, grats me, I guess. <laughs> oh, and a superior, nice. Oh, that means we can actually do another Scotizo. If we get an elite from that guy, we might finally be able to open the 10 elite clues in the bank. Grats on 93 Slayer, you're the man with a... Wait, oh! <laughs> I completely missed 93 Slayer while it was the only thing I was raving about for the past hour. Hey, Smoke Devil's unlocked. Grats me. All right, chance of being black demons or smoke devils on the first task back? There they are once again. Let's complete the two Scotizo kills. See if we get the elite opening. Otherwise, we're going to nicely go for our first Zenite again. <laughs> Dude, what the? What is wrong with my scope? You know what? I've been teasing these elite clues for too long. I'm gonna open them. <laughs> I'm gonna do this hard clue and I'm just gonna open the elite clues because I feel like I'm a terrible content creator for just edging you guys with these <laughs> elite I'm gonna open them. Screw Scotizo and everything he's got to do with. The nine elite clues that we have, I'm going to open them with Rocky in front of the Legends Guild. I think there is no better place to open them because Rocky's a legend and these elite clues are not. I don't know where I was going with that. Anyway, we get a monster clue. Might as well finally start making these stash units. Uh, I forgot nails. There we go. Number one. Because we got so many whips today, I might as well make this one too. Because I know myself, I am one day going to be alking these spine chaps and then I have to get the whole thing again. So Legendscape, whip, and spine chaps goes into this one. There it is. All right. Let's open the elite clues and then open the master clues, assuming that I am getting another master clue. Okay. Uh, back to back. Let's continue. We've got two master clues now. Seven more elites to open. I'd love to get a collection log slot to be... Oof! Actually, I don't know why I got excited about that. That's not really the coolest casket. What is going on with these elites, man? And another master clue. See, that's the reason why we do elites. Not for any other reason, because the rest... The loot is trash. We now have the same amount of monsters as elites. So can we get another master clue? Oh my god! No, that's not a unique! 
Really? I already had the Dragon Cane. And oh, that is so unfortunate, man, that we're getting dupes out of the elites. Oh, that's super shitty. It is what it is, though. Double dupe. Look at this. Three out of those. I just want the scepter or the hat. But, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to open our 80th, 81st, and 82nd monster clue. If this is the Bloodhound Pit, the series is over. <laughs> so, please no. What is that? And uh, both dupes, too. Oh, come on. A little bit of... A little, like a grain of a little bit of luck. Yo, Giga, hi. Spotted him in the wild. Oh, <laughs> shout out to you if you're watching the video. All right, we got so we got the blessing from Giga. Good luck with the monsters, they said. So now we definitely got to get a huge third H item. <sighs> Guess we'll uh, go back to focusing on Zenites. All right, still bag it. Incoming. Boom. Wait, a heart clue from the mystery box? That is even better than a stale baguette. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, yeah, uh, skip the demonics for now. Let me go do this heart clue <laughs> and stack it up for the next episode. Hey, we finally got our tentacle whip back. Again, after the last demonic task, we did not get our Zenite chart. We're currently on 348 demonics, no Zenites. Let's quickly put this bad boy on the whip that we just got. I've got three whips now, and before you guys ask, yes, I did lose my tentacle whip in the wilderness. No, I will not elaborate. I'm glad we got it back. <laughs> Let's finish this crack and task and hopefully get another demonics or smoke devil after that. All right, I heard you guys. I heard you screaming through your screens. I completed the heart diary, and now we can actually teleport to Duradel without just having to use the Brimhaven boat constantly. Oh my god, I just got a dark bow. What? That is a crazy collection log slot. That's something I don't have to grind out eventually. That's sick. I might actually use that dark bow at Zolra. Let's see what the KC was. Um, 47. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. You know... Losing a Corrupted Gauntlet kill instantly kills your vibe to do Corrupted Gauntlet, doesn't it? How about we do a surprise elite clue opening? In the middle of everything, I've got a Necreal task. I don't want to do it. I'm kind of hoping for a monster clue right now. <laughs> Something's telling me the game wants me to do that Necreal task. I know. I still don't have a Zenite, and I keep making other clips that have nothing to do with the previous one. But that's how Slayer goes. And you know how Slayer goes too? Clue scrolls. I'm currently stacking hard clues for the next episode, but we do have two mediums that I'm going to open right now. And we get a monster clue, so let's go and do it. And at the same time, another monster stash unit built. Put the full Torag in there, very nice. We also got the loot, a Barrow's chest. And there's nothing in there. Monster clue number 83 is... You know what? A 108? That's not a bad monster clue. I'm going to take that. Death runes, Limperts, and Alchemals. Yes, please. All right, we've got 20 easy clues because I just participated in a little speed run tournament. Not that it really matters, but we did get 20 easy clues in an hour. So let's see if we can get any new collection log slots from this. It'd be nice. Oh, yes, dude. A red beret. I quickly got to go and check how many easy clue collection log slots I've got. 96 out of 131. So there's plenty to get still. Another one. The Black Shield H3. Very sick. Let's wear them for fashion skate purposes. There we go. We've got 14 more. Dude, already two collection log slots. That's actually already... I'm happy with that. Those were three disgusting ones. Wait. 126 and 538. Okay. We get another one, the beanie. Dude, these are items that I've got on the uh, on the clue chunk, but not on this account. Actually surprised that these are collection log slots. Three already, bro. We are going insane. Seven more. Can we potentially get a master clue is the question. Or another fourth collection log slot. I swear I've gotten this before a long time ago, but it was before the collection log came out. So that's amazing to get back to. And uh, the last easy clue, no master clues, but what an absolute haul in terms of collection log slots. That's amazing. And the first Smoke Devil task is in, baby. There it is. Let's get that occult and actually get an upgrade for Zolra for the first time this episode. We're finally getting there, hopefully. I still have to get the occult. All right, first time I enter this cave. And oh my god, does it look beautiful. I've got a bunch of granite cannonballs. I know they're not really worth here. You only really use your cannonballs here 
to stack them up properly, but I was running out of other cannonballs and I might as well. I've got Braces of Slaughter, so a good 250 or something smoke devils. Let's get lucky. The occult is a 1 in 512 from these guys. The Braces of Slaughter did their best though. We did get a good amount of uh, smoke devils out of this task. More than 230 out of a 195 task, but no occult. But you can actually do one thermonuclear smoke devil off task for the diary. So let's do that and maybe we get the lucky 1k C occult from there. And the occult! Maybe that was a little ambitious too. Let's get another task. All right, we get another chance. 144 more smoke devils. Let's get the slaughters out of the bank. Not lucky on the occult either. That is 400 KC. Now we got to juggle this, uh, this heart clue out. So let's quickly do that and then get a new task. Maybe we get another attempt relatively soon. I really hope so. Oh my god, we got another one. 165 smoke devils once again. It took quite a quite a bit of skips, but all worth it if it lands on smoke devils. Now we're gonna hit drop raid on the occult. Let's get lucky. <laughs> I don't want another hard clue. What? As I just said it, we've got five hard clues. Guys, I promise I'm not going for a juggling 100 hard clue video. I got nine hard clues and 500 smoke devils. <sighs> not another hard clue. Come on. Oh, no, not another one. Just give me an occult. This is a billion times rarer. Has to be. 594 smoke devils and all we got was 11 hard clues and seven on the floor. Uh, <laughs> st still no occult. But at least we got some hard clues. Uh, let's do these and stack them back in the bank for the next episode. We can breathe, guys. We did it. Just one more to go. So OTB just got 200 mil fire making without a pet. That is rough. That was uh, the most scuffed kill I've done in ages. But there is the 50th Corrupted Gauntlet KC, which is a Grandmaster task. Rewarded? No. By the way, I was going to check if I got... Oh, I don't have Lizardman unlocked. Let me actually do that, because I've been not going for the Dragon Warhammer. And I thought I had this unlocked, actually. I don't. I do have Basilisks unlocked. That being said, I'm not really feeling like I want to do Basilisks right now. So if this skip could get me straight into... Ah, uh, Mutated Zagamites, I'll do. <laughs> Another Abyssal Whip. The, I want to say, fifth of this video. That's actually nice, because now I'm going to be using the Tentacle Whip on the regular Slayer tasks. Oh my god, I just got a collection log slot. Granite legs, that scared the living crap out of me. Nice! I mean, I'll take all the collection log slots I can get. All right, and the Elite Clue Casket from the Skeletal Wyverns is going to give us... Uh, yeah, a standard Elite Clue reward. We are currently on 662 Smoke Devils without an Occult Necklace. When we get the Occult Necklace, we're going to Demonic's off-task, because I... Can't keep waiting on a Black Demon's task. So hopefully this task of Smoke Devils is the one. We can grab our Occult, then go grab our Zenite off task, and then get our first unique from Zalra after 400 KC. We've been on a bit of a dry spell this episode, but I've got a good feeling. Man. Well, unlucky once again. 800 Smoke Devil KC. Still no Occult, so we keep going. I'm gonna do a quick Turrell task so I can uh, have a chance at another one. Okay, come on. Black demons! Back to back from the smoke devils. Okay, that Turiel task was smart. I mean, I could have still gotten black demons, but back to the Zenite grind. All right, we're finally getting this layer toss that we want. 347 demonic gorillas killed. So that means we're going straight into the 530s after this task. I'm not using slaughters here. I kind of want to use them on smoke devils and also doing a slaughter switch at the end of the kill at a demonic is just going to make me hate this task even more. Let's <laughs> hope we just get it within these 166 KC. Oh, I missed 200 mil. I'm so annoyed at myself. I was paying attention to it the whole time, but 200 million total experience. If this freaking aggressive demonic could get off of me, that'd be nice. Milestone! Some people have this on one skill, and I got it after 212 days of playtime. Good job, Trails. At least I've done something of progress this episode. Nice. Oh, 94 Slayer. That crept up on me. One level off of the big Hydra. And I actually can't wait until uh, I can actually get a Dragon Hunter Lance. I know people go very dry on it, and I shouldn't expect to get it soon, because I already kind of spooned it on my hardcore, but one of the main ways I'm going to be getting hard clues in the future is Wildy Green Dragon, so that Dragon Hunter Lance would be really nice. Now, that is pretty far into the future. Let's focus on the Zenite and the Occult. Hey, there's the first Zenite shard on the account. What a beautiful pink beam coming out of that. I am going to finish the task, but that is 393 KC. I'm going to have to say it, ladies and gentlemen, that is 
good enough. That is not too dry. I'm happy with that for sure. All right, I figured I'd dive into the bank and make a couple more recoils because we were only 30k away from 89 crafting, which allows us to make the Zenite ring that we so desire. So let's get on to the Monkey Madness Ape Toll dungeon, forge our Onyx, forge our Zenite, and make ourselves a suffering. Use the Zenite chart on the wall of flame. It will fuse with the Onyx. Thank you very much. Cut that Zenite up and let's go and make the ring, dude. Enchant the ring. I hope I still have imbued points. Yes, I do. Imbue, but very close to not having any. And there it is. Look at those stats. Absolutely massive. All right, how about we take this new ring for a spin? Let's go to Zelra. 425 Zelra without a unique so far. Is the 450th kill lucky? Nope. We are still looking for any unique. I'd be happy with an Onyx. I'd be happy with a Jar at this point. I just got another Zenite. I just got a second Zenite. Not that long after the first. Let's go. All right. All the Zelra luck and the occult luck is just coming together right now. This is amazing. I just got a third Zenite. Uh, I'm going to stop complaining for the rest of the next five episodes. Three Zenites in 437. You know what? Let's just complete them then. Let's just, let's just, let's just get it over with. Oh my god, you are absolutely joking me. I just completed Zenites in one task. I am so sorry. That is insane. What is going on, dude? Oh, dude, another light frame? That could have been a collection log slot. That could have been any of the other things. Again, I, I do not dare to complain about anything anymore. I'm still on a high from these Zenites. All right, yeah, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to not finish up this task at Demonics, obviously, because we're done here for basically ever until I come back for collection log slots, but I'm still stacking up hard clues for the next episode. So I'm gonna go do my Scotizos that I still have on task, and then I'm gonna finish this task off at the normal Black Demons. But as I'm stacking up the hard clues, I won't be opening the hard clues. But if I get any elite clues from Scotties, it will still open those and hopefully get a monster from that and then end the episode with a monster clue. I feel like that's the perfect scenario. So let's do some Scotizo. Right, so five Scotizo totems. We have almost 77 hard clues stacked up. So we'll easily get 100 by the next episode. Let's see if our shitty elite luck continues at Scotizo. And there's the combat. Wait, nope, not yet. There's the combat achievement. And that's all combat achievements for Scotizo done. Now let's get lucky on the lead clue potentially. Yes, finally. That was such a fast kill. 120 Scotizos. Maybe a second pet by any chance? No. And not another elite clue either. Here we go. 77 hard clues, but we did get two elites. So let's see if we can actually get lucky or if the four Zenites is the last epic thing of this episode. It is. Okay, we do get a monster. Perfect ending is what I call that. I love that so much. Let's go. We're naked for good luck. We get an elite and another monster. Unless we get another monster from this elite. This is the final casket of the episode. Are we going to end the entire series with a bloodhound? That... What? How is that 574k? Hello? What am I missing? I mean, at the end of the day, I feel like we can say that this was a pretty successful episode. All Zenites completed. If you've watched until this point, I want to thank you for celebrating my birthday with me. When this video is up, there should be a video on Hanani's channel with Tedious Rarg and I, and I sincerely advise you guys to check that video out. So that will be in the description. Thank you once again to all the channel members, with an extra spicy shout out to Jagex, Me Up, and March, who are Trailer Trash King and Trailer Trash God, respectively. Unreal support by you guys. Thank you so much. You guys know how to become a channel member. Just click the join button under the video or subscribe to support me for free. See you next week. Peace.